All right, we're playing in plain sight. Let's see how long it takes. It's the little ducky. Hey, it's Mulford Madness. Let me take you through my week. The kids are playing a game that I called hiding in plain sight or just in plain sight. It's where I took an object and placed it somewhere that was in plain sight and they had to find it. It was a lot of fun, a lot more fun than I actually anticipated it to be. So if you're looking for a very easy game for your kids when they're home on a snow day, uh, this seems to be a big hit. You just take any old object, maybe even a penny, a quarter. We used a finger puppet, and it was great fun. They kept going for, I want to say, at least an hour. It was amazing. <laughs> you just got to look. Hit number one for reals. No hints. What? You don't need hints. You need a look. One of the problems with this room is I haven't put the stuff up on the top two shelves. We have been in this house for over a year now, and there are still boxes that we're unpacking. And part of the problem is that I was homeschooling, and now the kids are in public school. So I got to accommodate and switch things over for that. Use those shelves. We're lucky that Felipe gets to work from home. The kids get to see him throughout the day. The kids respond well to having their father present in their life, and they can just see the love of Christ overflowing into each other. He's just a loving father. All right, looks like that's it. Just paid for my class. So I paid for my class, but it doesn't officially start until Monday. Um, I'm recording this now way into the week and things as you can see had technical difficulties there are still technical difficulties as is the nature of online schooling so we'll see if that can get worked out um, hopefully in time for me to finish my first essay sleeping baby some handles messiah I'm doing this um, project here I always have a art project going, hopefully not more than one or two or three, but they're fun. I love them. And here you see the smiley guy. I just bought him this little children's mirror book thing. And while he laughed for a few seconds, it really didn't last. I am hoping that it will help distract him so I can get some of these essays done. Oh yeah, we almost missed church on Sunday because we couldn't get our car to start. Um, car troubles, typical. And then we can see my daughter enjoying church from the cry room, which will be our permanent place of stay for a while. People always show pictures of missing gloves. Wait a minute, this is my driveway. This is probably my glove. Boyo. Boyo. This is my fireworks. Hey. I do not win this fireworks. Hey. Fireworks, 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 fireworks. fireworks. I do a win at kissy face. Kissy face, kissy face. Kiss face. Jane loves that Sarah and Duck show on Amazon Prime, and he loves the kissy face dance that we based off of Sarah's fireworks dance, where he like just smushes his face up against mine. It's adorable. Speaking of uh, adorable baby stuff, there he has this new chair which he didn't like at first, but he's, it's growing on him. It's like this little DJ mixer for infants. And we press these buttons that are shaped like triangles and squares and circles, and they make little DJ sounds. And I, I felt like to pretend I'm a DJ, whose dream is that not, like, right? So tons of fun there. He is less than enthusiastic about it, but I'm hoping that it'll grow on him because I really need him to be able to entertain himself for a while so I can write these essays. I'm feeling like I'm being very repetitive here. Okay, Holly, did you know that I'm going back to school today too? What? Yeah, today's my first day of school. Huh, really? Yeah. 
Zoe, did you know I'm going back to school today? What? Yeah. We don't really have a dishwasher, so I have to hand wash these dishes for 10 people. My oldest son typically helps. He's great around the house holding the baby there. Here I am in one meeting, very encouraging meeting, before helping the girls paint as they've been asking this paint by numbers and they just don't care. They are doing whatever they want and I encourage them to do whatever they want. So much less stressful. Just have fun. It's a little chilly out here, but it's not, it's, it is technically freezing, but it doesn't feel like it's freezing. We got a little fire going in a pile of snow. This might be fun to see for non-snow climates. That is a, a little individual snow plow for plowing the sidewalk uh, where people walk next to the street. Very and that cars. there's another right. he has all that yeah, salt. see that that one you can barely see it it's full of ice to ice the sidewalk so that you don't trip and slip micah has been working on this paper fox for a while it really stresses him out but i insisted that he keep going keep trying to figure it out because perseverance is a virtue and I need him to learn how to work through frustration even if he's at the point of tears things aren't working well it's um it's a good discipline for when things uh, really matter if you can start practicing that now as a child then when you're older and things do matter um, so this is like the safe place for him to mess up He's not going to get yelled at or criticized for not doing a well job. He's just going to get encouragement. Like, keep going. When you're done, it's going to feel so good. A week later, here it is, completely finished. He did such a great job. Amazing. Yes, it does. What? Do you feel so proud of yourself? Just so satisfied? Aren't you glad I made you finish? Hello. Here's one of my first meetings of the school year over Zoom, sleeping baby, uh, really understanding professors who love kids. Here's a work meeting where I turned off my camera because the baby was being so fussy. That's okay, everyone loves the babies. I have a school lecture here where we're just watching a video. Some of you will recognize that reformed theology video a lot of augustine talks very fun topic and then giving my daughter blessings every day before they go to school i speak the uh, levitical priestly blessing over my children before they go um hopefully make them feel loved and cherished for me this is really the ultimate picture of my life having baby in my lap school video off to the left a uh, sick child doing art to the right entertaining a younger brother and sister uh really just encapsulates this is what i'm juggling in my life and i love it i'm not trying to do life perfectly i am trying to do life excellently and these guys are helping me realize what's really truly matters and important <laughs> Okay, I found it. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a uh, okay, I found it. Where is it? It's this week was a little more benign than usual, but I hope that you will join me next week where we continue to find the grace of God that is hiding in plain sight in Mulford Madness. Mm -hmm.